Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about physical layer and link layer attacks in wireless sensor network. Layer wise attacks in wireless sensor networks. That is, in detail, we are going to discuss physical layer and link layer attacks. Wireless sensor networks are vulnerable to various types of attacks. These attacks can be broadly classified or categorized as follows. First category is attacks on network availability attacks. That is, on availability attacks are often referred to as denial of service attacks. That is, DOS attacks. DOS attacks may target any layer of a sensor network. Second category comes under attacks on secrecy and authentication. Standard cryptographic technique can protect the secrecy and authenticity of communication channels from outsider attacks such as eversdrapping, packet relay attacks and modification or spoofing of packets. And the third category comes under stealthy attack against service integrity in the stealthy attack the goal of the attacker is to make the network accept a false data value for example an attacker compromises a sensor node and injects a false data value through that sensor node in this attacks keeping the sensor network available for its intended use is essential let us start discussing the layers in wireless sensor network the first layer is physical layer the physical layer is responsible for modulation frequency selection and the transmit power in a particular sensor network the second layer is link layer the link layer is responsible for channel access data framing error direction and correction the third layer is network layer the network layer is responsible for hop to hop communication and routing information the fourth layer is transport layer the transport layer is responsible for end to end communication that is reliability packet loss recovery and the next layer is application layer this application layer is user defined that is data format and security out of this five layers the physical layer and link layer discusses about the hardware components of a wireless sensor network and the above three layers that is network layer transport layer and application layer discuss about the firmware components of a wireless sensor network let us start discussing about physical layer attacks the physical layer is responsible for frequency selection carrier frequency generation signal detection modulation and data encryption as with radio based medium there exists the possibility of jamming in wireless sensor networks there are two broad categories of attack on wireless sensor networks in the physical layer namely jamming and tampering now we we'll discuss about jamming jamming it is a type of attack which interferes with the radio frequencies that the nodes use in a wireless sensor network for communication a jamming source may be powerful enough to disrupt the entire network even with less powerful jamming sources an adversary can potentially disrupt communication in the entire network by strategically distributing the jamming sources now we discuss about tampering attack tampering sensor networks typically operate in outdoor environments due to 
unattended and distributed nature, the nodes in a wireless sensor network are highly susceptible to physical attacks. The physical attacks may cause irreversible damage to the nodes. The solution for the physical layer attacks. Jamming and tampering attacks can be prevented by using the methods like spread lower duty cycle, spectrum, priority messages, region mapping, tamper proofing, mode change and node hiding. Link layer attacks. The link layer is responsible for multiplexing of data streams, data frame detection, medium access control, and error control. Attacks at this layer include purposefully created collisions, resource exhaustion, and unfairness in allocation. A collision occurs when two nodes attempt to transmit on the same frequency simultaneously. When packets collide, they are discarded and need to be retransmitted. An adversary may strategically cause collisions in specific packets such as acknowledgement control messages. A possible result of such collisions is the only exponential backoff. The next link layer attack is exertion. The adversary may simply violate the communication protocol and continuously transmit messages in an attempt to generate collisions. Repeated collisions can also be used by an attacker to cause resource exhaustion. For example, a native link layer implementation may continuously attempt to retransmit them corrupted packets. Link layer attacks solution. Link layer attacks can be prevented by using error detection code, rate limitation, and by dividing the packets into small frames. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates, kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.